let's take a look at accelerating elevator problems. So accelerating elevator problems are pretty much what they sound like. We're going to have an elevator and it's probably going to accelerate at some point. Let's put a person inside the elevator. And you've probably been in an elevator as it moves up or down. And you've probably experienced that when the elevator moves in a certain way, you feel heavier. And when the elevator moves in a certain way that's different, you might feel lighter. This kind of strange feeling that you get when the elevator moves in certain ways is related to the normal force. Because it turns out, for reasons we're not going to get into very deeply right now, but it turns out that the normal force is strongly related to how heavy you feel. If the normal force is greater than your weight, you tend to feel heavier. If the normal force is smaller than your weight, then you tend to feel lighter. And let's think about why that might be. So just imagine a situation where the elevator is stationary. So it's just like you're standing on a flat surface and nothing exciting is happening. You're just standing there. And this is kind of our baseline. This is our normal. And in this normal situation, the gravitational force and the normal force balance each other out. So in other words, they are the same size. They have the same magnitude. So we're trained, or our bodies are trained, to feel a normal force that is equal to our gravitational force, just in the opposite direction. When that normal force changes, that's when we start to feel heavier or lighter. So let's take an example where the elevator accelerates upward. Well, if the elevator accelerates upward, then you in the elevator are also accelerating upward. And let's think about the forces in that situation. If you're accelerating upward, then you must have a net force on you that's upward. That has to be true because of Newton's second law, F net equals MA. So if the acceleration is upward, there must also be a net force upward on the person. And in order for there to be a net force upward on the person, let's see, well the normal force then has to be greater than the gravitational force. Okay, if the normal force is greater than the gravitational force, I said that that is what makes you feel heavier. A greater normal force on you is what makes you feel heavier. So if the elevator accelerates upward, the normal force is greater and you feel heavier than you're used to feeling because the normal force on you is bigger than you're used to. Imagine that the elevator accelerates downward now. If the elevator accelerates downward, then that means the normal force must now be smaller than the gravitational force because of Newton's second law, right? If you're accelerating downward, the net force on you must be downward, and so the gravitational force has to be bigger than the normal force. Now, the gravitational force is not changing. The gravitational force in all of these situations is the same, because it's only determined by your mass. But the normal force is what changes. So if, if the elevator accelerates downward, the normal force is smaller than it would be if you were just standing on stationary ground. And so, you feel lighter. Okay, let's take a look at an example. Let's say that there is an elevator that's accelerating downward at 2 meters per second squared. And there's a person in the elevator with a mass of 60 kilograms. And I want to know what the normal force is on that person. Well, okay, we're trying to relate things like forces and accelerations. So that's a Newton's second law type problem. So F net equals MA. We'll add the two forces together. And let's see, the weight we also know is equal to M times G. So I'll slip that in there. And if I put the numbers in, okay, now I'll start including direction. Notice that the negative signs make an appearance right now. So the normal force plus 60 kilograms times negative 9.8 meters per second squared is equal to 60 kilograms times negative 2 meters per second squared. And if I solve for the normal force, the normal force is equal to 468 newtons. And notice that I got a positive number. So that's 468 newtons upward. The normal force is upward. It's often uh, tempting to say that the normal force is downward because the acceleration is downward, but it's not. Look at the diagram. The normal force is upward. Okay. Now, just to see if this makes sense, I said that the acceleration, if the acceleration is downward, then the normal force would be smaller than the weight and you would feel lighter. Well, let's see. Let's see what the weight would be in this situation. Well, 
it would be equal to m times g. So the gravitational force, or the weight, would be 588 newtons downward. Compare that to the normal force. The normal force is smaller in magnitude, and that is why you feel lighter.